dear viewers, welcome to Sinaloa Farm Solutions. Today we are going to talk about another grass. This time we are bringing Rhodes Guyana. It is also it is also known as Rhodes grass, and in Luganda we call it Kashiwante. So you can see the Rhodes grass, Rhodes Guyana. It is a pasture that is really recommended in dry areas. It is drought tolerant. It has deep roots, which can go up to five meters below the ground. And then it has enough biomass. You can see the leaves. This gross kind you see here is, is a bit mature. It has overgrown. It is seeding. And that's why you see it has many seeds. And we have left it to overseed, to seed, because we want to harvest these seeds. And we shall be using them for planting other, other fields. Eh? Why should somebody go for Crowley Sigayana? Especially in regions, dry areas like Nakasongola. Crowley Sigayana, first of all, it establishes very fast. If you plant it, what it does, it first covers the whole ground. It spreads down horizontally. Then after that, it starts going up, growing upwards. And within three months, it had covered the whole ground. And it had killed most of these other pastures that were inside. I mean weeds. It had killed all the other weeds that were inside, and it, you can see now it is only Croatia Guyana here. So Croatia Guyana establishes very fast. That is one major advantage. When you plant it, you know that the, the field is all going to be covered within three months. And two, Croatia Guyana has very deep roots. It can go up to five meters deep. You know, and that means that during the drought, it will, it will, it will last longer. It will survive drought conditions because the roots go deep. They, they are able to access deeper areas which have which are moist, which have water and nutrients. And then Croatia Guyana also it is it, it, it is it is high yielding. You know, you can get 30 to 40 tons dry matter per hectare. That is a very good really. Yeah. Me, this is my one. Actually, Croatia Guyana is some people say Bracadia Murato is a wonder grass, but for me here in dry areas, Croatia Guyana is a wonder grass. It does very well. When the cows feed on this cross garden, they produce more milk. So that means this grass produces what? Result. And my dear viewers, if you are in a dry area, the best pasture for you to go for is Crowley Sigayana. Kasiva Ante. In Luganda, it's called Kasiva Ante. When you are harvesting Crowley Sigayana for hay, please, you cut the, the grass when it is still saturate before it produces these, these seeds. By the time it produces these seeds, the nutrients have reduced drastically. Because the, the remains of, of these herbivores cannot digest the fiber. This fiber has a lot of lignin. Lignin is carbohydrate locked in, in what? In fiber. And it is, it is not digestible. And what you can do, maybe if it is, it is overgrown like this, you can ensile it. When you ensile it, you ferment it. And you create a false rumen, eh? what you call a false rumen outside the animal, by fermenting it. And when you ferment it, these microorganisms break down the lignin and the fiber to release the nutrients. And there, you can feed it to the animals. And the nutrients get really, they can be able to extract these nutrients from these fermented pastures. Okay, this grass can go can grow up to two meters long. You can see the height. Hmm? It can grow up to two meters long. So Sinaloa Farm Solutions is here to help you. If you want grass, you can plant, you can call us and we'll plant it for you. If you want seeds, we can sell you the seeds. If you want your land to be fenced, your farm to be fenced, we can fence for you the land. Even machinery, we deal in machinery. We have mowers which can cut this grass. We have chaff cutters. We have choppers which can cut silage. So, so cameraman, you, you, you show them this grass here. This is another grass. 
tena za grass cold brakali ya Murato This is Murato Murato 2 Very nutritious grass Protein content is so high So high This is also drought tolerant But it's a wonder grass My friend when you get brakali ya Murato you are just safe your animals are safe this one we shall have a topic on it sometime later but current right now we are we are looking at growth them and when do you harvest these seeds you know these seeds when you see that they have matured they are they are beginning to drop off you will see the seeds beginning to drop off then you start harvesting you know they are now mature you can harvest them and when do you harvest the hay As I told you, you don't wait for the grass to form these seeds. You wait when the grass is be beginning to form the seeds. At that time, that's when the, the nutrients are, are really in good quantities. That's the best time to harvest the grass. You don't wait for it to overseed. You wait for it just to, when it is beginning to seed. That's when you the best that's the best time to harvest this grass for hay. It's another species of brakalia. This is not mulatto too. It's another species of brakalia. You know brakalia has so many species. So many, so many species of brachialia. So this is another species. You can see how how saturated the grass is. Eh? You can see how saturated this brachialia is. All these varieties we have them here in plenty. Mm -hmm. Look at the crowis. Look at the crowis garden. Eh? You see. You can see you can see how much forage there is here. Yes, grass. There is no fiber, little fiber. So this is the best time, eh? This is the best stage to harvest this Croesus Guyana. When it is just beginning to seed, eh? Most of the nutrients are still there. the protein content is still high, the sugars are still high. And let me tell you the other thing. You know, the best time to cut pastures is in the evening. Why? The best time to cut pastures for hay or even to feed animals is in the evening. In the evening, the sugar content of these grasses is very high because they have been they have been exposed to a lot of sunshine, they have made a lot of sugars through photosynthesis. So the sugar content is high. And when you harvest in the evening, you you cut the grass with all those sugars and they are kept in there. But when you harvest in the morning hours, the sugars have been already what? used it up they are not there either they have been stored in form of starch or they have been used up so the best time to harvest pastures is in the evening